Today, I'm gonna be showing you 10 different ways to prank your friends. And the first one is called Explosive Chest. All you need to do is find your friend's house and get these following items. A trap chest, TNT, and red carpet. After you get these items, you need to find a place to put the chest down. For me, this pot over here works. After that, you need to mine down below the chest like this. And once you're underneath, you wanna place down a lot of TNT below the chest. What we're gonna do is break every single block underneath this house. I can't wait to see my friend's reaction when this house literally blows up. There you go. This should be more than enough TNT. And now that I'm done placing the TNT, I'm gonna take the red carpet and place it all around the chest like this. This will make it so they can't even see the TNT underneath the chest. And now that we have the first trap done, let's see my friend's reaction to it. Wow, what an amazing day getting some brand new diamonds to make some amazing, amazing armor. I'm gonna just go back and inside my house and put these diamonds safely away. All right, let me just go to my chest and hey, wait a second. Something seems a little bit off about this. I don't remember placing down any red wool. I hate the color red. Uh, okay, you know what? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna just put my diamonds inside the chest anyways. And wait a second. What is that sound? Uh, hello? What's going on? In Whoa! My diamonds! What the heck? My entire house blew up. Up. Oh, man. As you can see, this prank worked perfectly. But the next one is going to be even better. And this next one is called the Sleep Stopper. This prank is going to make it so your friend gets no sleep in Minecraft. For this one, all you need is some zombie spawn eggs, an anvil, and a name tag. After that, all you need to do is break some blocks below your friend's house like this. And once you have a little area like this, all you need to do is spawn in the zombie. But if the zombie stays like this, he's literally just gonna despawn. So what you wanna do is place down an anvil and give the zombie a name. We're gonna be calling this zombie Pingo Wingle. So Pingo Wingle the zombie is gonna make it so my friend gets no sleep in Minecraft. After you place the zombie down, you just wanna replace the floor like this. And now let's make it nighttime like this. And now if we try to go to sleep, as you can see, it doesn't let us. It says you might not rest now. There are monsters nearby. This prank is gonna get my friend and so good. So let's see his reaction to this. Oh man, it's been such a long day. It's already nighttime. I better get inside before these zombies and creepers try to kill me. Ooh, oh my gosh. It is so scary when it's nighttime outside. I hate dealing with mobs, but thankfully I'm home sweet home. So now I can just go to sleep and hey, wait a second. You may not rest now. There are monsters nearby. Wait, what monsters are nearby? I don't see any monsters monsters in here. Oh no, wait a second. Does that mean there's like a ghost or something? Uh, oh no, oh no. Uh, this is so annoying. Can't I just fall asleep, please? I don't want it to be nighttime forever. I just want to go to daytime. You know what? I'm just hiding under the covers until it's daytime because I do not want to deal with any mobs. Oh look, it's finally starting to turn into daytime. Let's go. Finally, those mobs will leave me alone. As you can see, this is the perfect friendly trap to pull on your friends. It'll probably have them super duper confused. And if you want the pranks to get even better than this, hit that subscribe button. You have three seconds to do it. Three, two, one. Thank you so much for subscribing. And since you subscribed, we can now work on our next trap, which is gonna be all the way up here. And this one is called Chicken Bomb. To make this trap, you're gonna need some stone, sticky piston, redstone dust, block of redstone, lever, and of course some chicken spawn eggs. So basically, what you need to do is build up a lot of blocks into the sky. Just like this. And then leave the top one, but break every single one below like this. Place the sticky piston on each side of the stone like this. And then after that, place stone on top of the sticky pistons. Then use the levers to pull them out like this. Once you do that, you just want to build up two blocks on each side of the stones like this. And after you build this, all you want to do is get rid of the lever and place a redstone where it was. Then you have to put a sticky piston down like this.
this and a block of redstone right underneath it and now put a lever all the way at the top like this this way when we flip this lever all the blocks come inside like this but then when we flip it again all the blocks go out like that so basically have the stones out like this and once you do you want to place a lot of chickens inside of each block we're gonna put as many as we can there should be about a hundred of these chickens in each stone block and there you go this is the last stone block let's just fill this up real quick and boom now we're done with our chicken bomb trap all we need to do is wait for my friend to come outside and once he does i'm just gonna activate the trap wow it's such a beautiful day outside i think it's the perfect time for me to make a brand new farm i just need to use my hoe and get all the dirt wet just like this and oh i have so many different seeds to choose from and now that my friend is outside all i need to do is enable the trap like this and boom the chickens are falling oh which seeds should i use should i use pumpkin seeds oh what about this melon seeds look so good oh but i do like how beetroot tastes so i'm gonna place down these seeds as well and wait a second what is that noise and what the heck what is that oh my gosh what in the world what why are there so many chickens here and they want all of my seeds what the heck get away from me chickens ah this is not good. How am I supposed to get inside my house? Please let me in. And oh no, oh no, all the chickens are coming inside. Haha, <laughs> this prank is literally hilarious. If you want an easy prank to pull on your friends, this one is the perfect one. <laughs> Get out of my house, chickens. Please just leave me alone. But the next trap is even better. And for this next one, you're gonna need to find a village because it's called Upside Down Friends. The items you're gonna need is an anvil and a name tag. And once you have the items, all you need to do is go inside the anvil and make the name tag turn into Dinner Bone just like this. And make sure you have the capital D there or else this prank won't work. And once you have this magical name tag, all all you need to do is go to a mob and give them the name we're gonna try this in three two one boom as you can see the horse is literally upside down let's just give this name tag to literally all the villagers and also all the other mobs around the village there you go mr cow you are now upside down mr sheep come here you're now upside down just like the rest of them and we're gonna continue doing this to every single mob inside the village <laughs> it's gonna look super funny once we're done and boom take a look at all the animals literally every single one of them is upside down if you want to get a good reaction out of your friend you definitely have to try this prank but there's actually something else that we can do let's just place the anvil down like this and let's give this name tag another name this time we're gonna name it jeb underscore just like this then we're gonna take this name tag and go find a sheep nearby this is literally the only normal sheep in this village but after i give him this name tag he's gonna be super abnormal so let's just give it to him right now and check it out this sheep is now literally rainbow he's changing colors every single second so if you want to confuse your friends you definitely have to try this exact prank out because they're definitely going to be wondering where this rainbow sheep came from and now that we have this whole prank ready let's see my friend's reaction to it man i have been exploring for so long today i need a place to rest and hey wait a second it's a village but wait this isn't a normal village what is wrong with these mobs um i have never seen this before are they all upside down what the heck look at this horse why is his head in the ground and his feet are in the air this sheep over here is the same way and oh my gosh when it moves it looks so weird how in the world do i fix this village it's not supposed to be like this wait a second is that the iron golem too what the heck it's walking on its head and wait I just realized that all these mobs are named Dinner Bone. What the heck does that mean? I've never heard of this Dinner Bone guy. Um, I mean, the only thing different about these mobs is that they're upside down. So if I try to ride one, will it let me ride it? And uh, wait, oh my gosh, I'm actually riding an upside down horse right now. What the heck? This is so weird. Come here, horsey. What if I give you these apples? Are you going to eat them? Oh my gosh. He's eating them upside down. Okay, come on, Mr. Horsey. I can tame you and oh, let's go. Now I have an upside down horse as my pet. What? This is so cool. And he's so fast. Whoa. Whoa, this is so fun. And wait a second. Is that sheep rainbow? This isn't normal at all. Look at its 
name, Jeb underscore. But who the heck is that guy? Jeb underscore and Dinner Bone are literally cursing my Minecraft world. What the heck is going on? Upside down mobs, rainbow sheep. Like what? This village is definitely cursed. So I'm taking my horse and getting out of here. As you can see, that prank was literally perfect. It's literally the easiest way to confuse your friends. But this next prank is gonna have them a little sad because this one is called the Diamond Thief. And the reason why it's called that is because we're gonna be stealing all our friends diamonds. To do this, all we need is some hoppers and some chests. Then you just need to be inside your friend's base, mine underneath their main chest like this, and then place the droppers below the chest like this. And once you place all the hoppers down, you just wanna put chests at the bottom like this. And what this is basically gonna do is whenever you put items inside of this chest right here, it's basically going to transfer all the way down to this chest right here. As you can see, there's literally diamonds spawning in every second. This is a great way to prank your friends and also steal their diamonds. So now let's see my friend's reaction to all his diamonds being gone. And if you made it to this point of the video, comment hashtag dropper. Let's confuse everyone else in the comment section. Finally, I have spent all day mining for so many diamonds and I cannot wait to make some more armor, some new tools, and just make a bunch of diamond blocks to celebrate how rich I am. So now I can put my diamonds inside this chest and let's go. My diamonds are in here, but wait a second. Um, is there something wrong with my chest? Why are the number of diamonds going down inside my chest? What the heck? Um, I thought I just placed 64 diamonds in here, but it's now it's down to 17. What do I do about this? All my diamonds are disappearing. As you can see, this is a perfect way to prank your friends and also steal all their diamonds in the process. Check it out. We literally have stacks of diamonds and we didn't even mine a thing. And your friend might think that diamonds disappearing is a little bit weird. But this next prank is even weirder because this one is called biome change. What we're gonna do is literally change the entire biome into a different one. So I'm gonna be changing my friend's biome to be super snowy. And we're gonna be doing that using these items in my inventory. This shovel right here will allow us to turn all the grass blocks into ice and snow. All we need to do is right click the ground like this and check it out. It's literally turning into snow. Let's just go around and do this for the entire area near their house. After that, let's turn all the water into ice like this. This looks so much better than regular water. And now let's replace all this grass into snow like this. There you go. This looks so much better. And then let's replace all the sand to be blue ice like this. And finally, let's add some mobs to set the mood. Let's get some polar bears like this and let's place them all over the place. Look how awesome this looks. I can't wait to see my friend's reaction to this. And now that we have the whole biome changed, let's see my friend's reaction to it. Let's go. I'm finally home after a long day of exploration. I cannot wait to get inside and be nice and comfortable and safe. But wait a second. Why is everything snowy here? I thought my house was in a plains biome. I don't remember it being all snowy with the snow and ice. I also made sure to build my house next to a lot of water, but now all the water is gone. It's just ice. Oh, uh, I don't remember this at all. This is confusing. And hey, are those polar bears? Who in the world did this? Now I'm being chased by them. Ah! Get away from me, polar bears. Please leave me alone. I just want to get back inside my house. It looks like I need to build my house somewhere else because now all these polar bears want to kill me. I'm running. I'm running. This is literally the perfect prank to pull on your friend if you want to really, really confuse them. But let's just say the next prank is going to have them super duper worried because this next prank is called rocket ship. And let's just say this one is going to send your friends to space. And for for this prank to work, you need to make sure that your friend is standing still like this. And the items you need are slime blocks, sticky pistons, and a redstone block. After you get these items, you need to go next to your friend and break down. You basically need to remove all the blocks around your friend like this. And after that, you need to place three slime blocks down like this, one slime block to the right like this, and two more down after that. Then place another slime block to the right like this, and finally, you want to place down a 
sticky piston like this. After that, you need to place a normal piston up like this. And once you place that down, the whole build is basically complete. All you need to do now is place the redstone block down like this and the whole contraption should work. Check it out. My friend is literally going up in space right now. I can't wait to see his reaction when he finds out he's literally so high in the sky. Uh, what the heck is going on right now? Why am I so high in the air? This is not normal at all. Why am I stuck up here? I'm going even higher. Who even made this thing? Is this a rocket ship or something? Oh no. How am I supposed to get down from here? It's not gonna stop. I literally can't see the ground anymore. What do I do? And as you can see, my friend is super confused and super mad. This is literally the perfect way to prank your friend. This next prank is called Smoky Floor. And the reason it's called that is because this entire room is gonna be filled with smoke. And the only item you need for this prank is a campfire. And once you have a campfire, all you wanna do is just break down the floor of your friend's house like this. And once you break underneath the floor, all you need to do is place all the campfires in order like this. You need to make sure you get every single block underneath the house. And there you go. This is the last one. And check it out. The house is super duper smoky. I can barely see myself inside of here. This prank will definitely get a good reaction out of your friends. So let's see how it looks from the outside. And wait, I just realized there really isn't that much smoke outside. So what we should do is just replace all the blocks outside to be campfires also. Let's just break out outside of the house like this. And then after that, place all the campfires just like this. This is gonna be a lot of smoke and I hope my friend is prepared. And there you go. This is the last campfire. Now let's take a look at the house. And whoa, check it out. This is a lot better. Now the outside is also super duper smoky and it looks so cool. So now I think we should get my friend's reaction to this. I got all the wood I needed. So now it's time to upgrade my house and uh, huh? Wait a second. Is that all smoke? Is my house on fire? Oh no, this is not good. It only seems like the outside though. So let me go check on the inside. <laughs> oh, it's so smoky. It smells so bad. Okay, let me go inside and oh no, it's even worse in here. What happened to my house? Let me open up some windows real quick to try and let the smoke out and I'm getting the heck out of here. I am gonna get my revenge on whoever did this to my house. Your friends will probably get super upset over this prank. But the next one is gonna make them super duper mad. And this next prank is called Gravel Fall. And it's called that because whenever someone tries to enter your house, they're gonna fall straight down like this. So for this trap to work, what we're gonna need is some gravel, some signs, and a regular piston. And for this trap to work, you need to make sure you dig out a huge hole like this. And then at the bottom, you can put lava like this. After that, you need to put redstone underneath the door like this. And a lever right above it. And then you need to put the piston right here and press the lever so it comes out like this. And once the piston is activated, what you need to do is put a lot of signs out like this. After that, you just need to put gravel above the signs like this. So now whenever someone pulls this lever, all this gravel is gonna fall and they're gonna die. And now that we're done with this prank, let's start working on our next one straight away. This next one is called Poison Room. The reason why it's called that is because we're gonna be using puffer fish to poison our friend. All we're gonna need is some carpets and some puffer fish spawn eggs. And for this prank to work, you need to break out a lot of blocks inside of your friend's house like this. And then you need to place water inside the hole like this. After that, just spawn in a bunch of puffer fish. And once you do that, just put carpet over the water like this. This way, your friend is gonna walk over this carpet thinking it's just a normal floor, but underneath is a bunch of puffer fish ready to poison them. These two pranks right here are literally perfect if you want to get your friends really, really good. So now let's see my friend's reaction to all of this. After a nice day skydiving with my turtle friends, it's finally time to get back home. And oh, uh, I don't remember putting this gravel path here. Let me just flip this lever to get back inside my house. And wait, what the heck? That gravel just fell. 
Oh, uh, what in the world? I'm dying. Help! Who did this to me? Why would they try and kill me like this? I am angry. <laughs> I don't know who would dare put a trap in front of my house, but you know what? I'm just gonna go home anyways, right inside, and ooh, it feels so good being inside my house all nice and cozy, and wait, what the heck is hitting me? Ouch! Something was hitting me as soon as I stood on top of my carpet. Hmm. Let me just try and step again and ow, ow! What the heck? I'm getting poisoned. Is there something under this carpet that continues to attack me? Hey, wait a second. They're puffer fish. What the heck are puffer fish doing underneath my carpet? I never did this. Who in the world put them in here? As you can see, these two pranks work perfectly. And I'm sure you guys will have lots of fun pranking your friends. But if you want to have even more fun, click on the videos on screen. They're awesome videos, so watch it right now. Goodbye.